guys, I am Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for my Sweet Honey Life blog. Um, today I'm going to be talking about empties, my trash, talking trash. Um, this is actually the second time that I'm recording this video because I am an idiot and recorded it the wrong way the first time. So I'm just going to jump right into it so I can get through these and do something else with my day. Now that I don't love this, I actually love making these videos, but I have a lot to do. So I'm going to start, I'm going to break things up into hair care, skin care, and makeup. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the products that are going to be in my first beauty giveaway that I'm doing um, sometime very, very soon. Okay, so let me just jump right into it. This is the OGX Coconut Miracle Oil Conditioner. I love this. I don't usually, my hair doesn't really respond well to a lot of products. This one worked really well for me. I have fine hair and I have thinning hair from PCOS, one of the one of the perks of having that condition. Um, and a lot of times like conditioning products make my hair really frizzy and hard to manage and tame. This one doesn't. So if you have troublesome hair or just want to try something new, I would definitely recommend this. And it's not that expensive. It's often on sale for like buy one get one 50% off too. This is like at Walgreens or your you know local drugstores. So definitely re uh, would recommend that. The next product I have is this Instant Clean Dry Shampoo from Busy Beauty. I bought this as an add-on during the last Fab Fit Fun um, box. So was that the fall box because the winter box is getting ready to come out. I don't love it. I find like a lot of dry shampoos actually go on kind of sticky and not dry. And this is one of those. So this one doesn't work for me. I like my dry shampoo to actually like show up white in my hair. So I know it's there and it's powder and it's absorbing things. Um, this one just wasn't it for me. But this one, <laughs> Batiste. Also a drugstore brand and not very expensive. I think the last refill I bought of this was maybe $10 versus um, I'm using R Co right now, which I don't really like. And I think that's $30, $32, something like that. This works really, really well for me. It goes on white and I have dark hair, but I just, so how I do it is I, when I get out of the shower, I'll spray this into my hair. I haven't washed my hair, I'm saying. I spray it into my hair when it's dry, like on days I don't wash. I still shower, I just don't wash my hair. Um, so I spray this on and then when I'm putting all my lotions on or makeup or whatever, I just kind of let this sit in my hair and absorb any of the excess oil. And then I do my hair after I'm done the makeup. And that works, that works great. Definitely would recommend that. The next hair item I have is this Eva NYC Main Magic Multi-Benefit 10-in-1 Primer. This is like a leave-in conditioner. So that looks like this is just a sample size. I This is okay. It wasn't amazing, but I didn't hate it either. I would use it if I got it again, um, but I just, I wouldn't buy it. And I cannot remember for the life of me right now in this moment, what the leave-in conditioner that I really liked was. I kind of want to say it was an Orbe, which would make sense because I love all their products, um, but I can't remember for 100% for sure. Okay, so the last hair products that I have are the Caviar Anti-Aging Restructuring Bond Repair Shampoo and Conditioner Samples. Um, I usually don't find samples to be enough to really judge a product, like how well it's going to work. Maybe the conditioner, but the shampoo, I'm just kind of whatever about. But this one had a little like ad up here on the top that said it would transform your hair in just one shampoo. So I thought, oh, okay, I'm going to know right away if this works great. It worked okay. I didn't love it. Didn't hate it. Would never pay the high price of this brand, which I normally, like I do love products from this brand, but just not this one. Um, so I just want to pay full price for this. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I have one more skin or hair item. And this is Nature Lab Perfect Shine Clarifying Scalp Scrub. I have used a sample of DP Hue's apple cider vinegar scalp scrub and loved it. So I was excited to get this, I believe in a birch box. Um, but this one didn't work as good for me. I had to actually mix it with my shampoo. Normally you would just use a scalp scrub, um, but I had to mix it with my shampoo to actually get it to, to be able to carry it through 
through the hair without having to use a ton of it. Um, but it was okay when I mixed it with shampoo. Not my favorite, but okay. I would definitely tell you that the DPQ um, brand one is great. So if you've been wanting to try a scalp scrub, try to get a sample of DPQ and see if that works for you. Obviously that brand's a little more pricey too. So you might not want to buy a full size if you haven't tried them before. Um, okay, so moving on to skincare. Let me make sure I've got everything over here. Okay, so let me start with the sample first. So this is the micel micellar cleansing water, Garnier Skin Active. This is just a little sample size that I got, probably in a magazine. The only reason why I'm throwing this in there is to say that it doesn't remove um, eye makeup. When when a product says it removes makeup to me, like obviously like that means it should remove mascara and everything too. And this one says it removes makeup, but it did not take off my eye makeup very well at all. So I would not buy that. Uh, I don't know how to say this name, Juara, maybe? Candle Nut Hydrating Shower Gel. This is a tiny, this is really small. Um, so I got one use out of this, smells good, but it's super expensive for a full size bottle of body wash. I don't know who these people are that pay this for body wash because you literally wash with it, rinse it off, and that's it. You're gonna put on lotions and stuff afterwards. So body wash is not something that I spend a ton of money on. I would not recommend this as compared to oil belay or some other kind of moisturizing smells good type body wash okay next up oc osea i'm not sure how you say this this is their ocean cleanser and i actually hated this stuff um one did not remove eye makeup i don't know if it says on here yep removes makeup did not remove eye makeup at all. I had to wash twice whenever I use this and I don't wear a ton of makeup. Um, it also doesn't rinse off easily. So you feel like you have to keep rinsing, keep rinsing, or I'd have to get a washcloth out and actually like wipe it off. And then it smells, uh, it just has a strange smell. I mean, it's fruity, but maybe florally, I don't know. It just, I just don't like the smell of it either. And it's not a smell that I would, expect from something called an ocean cleanser. So there's just nothing about this that I liked. And I'm sad about that because this brand looks, I mean, I like the packaging and things like that, but you know, I really wanted to like that and I just didn't. This is the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior 2-in-1 Plumping Moisturizer and Serum. So this you would just use on its own instead of using a serum and then a moisturizer. I actually really like this. I'll take anything plumping, you know, and, um, I'm in my 40s and so I I don't have deep lines but I do have fine lines especially when I smile so I like that this was plumping it worked pretty well made my skin feel really good definitely would recommend this it is high priced a lot of Kate Somerville is but a lot of times you can find it for sale cheaper okay final products for skincare this is another one that kind of blows my mind. So this is the 111 Skin NACY2 Pollution Defense, what do they call it, Booster. Pollution Defense Booster. I don't know how the heck you're supposed to use this, but what I did was I used Alpha Arbutin. After I washed my face, Alpha Arbutin. I'm trying to get rid of this little dark spot over here. It's not working so far. Um, then I used this. Then I used my moisturizer and eye cream. If I was really good about skincare, I would have used a sunscreen too. And to me, that just feels like a whole lot of crap on your face for the day, for before you walk out the door. Like I only use this in the morning. I also don't know what this pollution defense booster really means. I really don't. Um, I've seen other products coming out lately from other brands that are to protect, meant to protect against pollution and the environment, environmental stress, and so on. I don't understand why if you're using your anti-aging creams and your other serums and your sunscreen, if you're better than me, um, why you need this. The other thing that blows my mind about this is the high cost. I think this was $140 for this bottle. I got it in a BoxyCharm box, I believe. I believe it was BoxyCharm, might have been Allure. I think BoxyCharm. Um, never in my life would I ever pay that much money for this product. One, 
I don't know if I need it. Two, I didn't notice any great difference um, in the month or so that I used this. And three, the cost is just... There, I just don't know that it's justified. If I went through and looked at every ingredient in this and there was something like in there that's really rare or hard to source or whatever, okay, maybe, but I'm not, I don't have that kind of money. I just don't have that kind of money and I don't have that kind of need for it. If it, honestly, if it was really amazing and it worked really well and I saw a significant change in my skin, I would, I would invest, um, you know, I'd probably have to like cancel subscription boxes or something like that to make it worth it. Um, but if something really works amazing, like I'm not opposed to paying more money for that. But if you don't have to, if there is another product that works just as well, I go with that. And I love like the ordinary and their products are like six, seven, eight dollars a piece. Okay, moving on from that. Skincare is done. Let's talk some makeup. These are the last six items that I have. So the first thing is this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer. That's a long name for concealer. This is dried up. I've had this for a long time, really long time. Um, I don't wear concealer most of the time now because I just am so tired. It just cakes up. So it doesn't cover my dark circles that well. It doesn't cover these you know dark spots. I only have like one big one here. Um, it just doesn't cover that well and then it looks cakey or like it cracks. So I've seen people using hyaluronic acid before they do that. I haven't tried that yet and I might try that and then see if I can get better coverage. Um, but I just wasn't impressed with this one at all. And I'm just not impressed with any concealer at all. I've tried a whole bunch. And to me, it looks worse to have cakey looking concealer than to just be like, okay, I've got a little bit of a dark spot here and some dark circles under my eyes. I also have a couple little areas of melasma. I don't, it's finding it hard to see in this. I have one here, um, but hard to see with this camera. So I'm, I'm trying other things to try to reduce the dark spots, not so much cover them up, but reduce their appearance altogether. Okay, let's move on. So this is the Stilla, it's a lip gloss. I don't know what the name of this lip gloss is. It just says Beauty Boss Lip Gloss. And the color Synergy. I don't like the color. It's not for me. Um, let me turn it this way. No, nope, there's writing on like every single side. Anyway, it's like a sparkly pink color. This is actually, this is dried up though because I used it even though I don't like it because we're wearing masks these days. And so I kept this in my car. I forever forget to put on like lip gloss or lip balm before I leave the house. And I don't like to not have anything on my lips. So this got used because it was in my car. So I get in my car and then I put it on, put a mask over it, didn't care what it looked like. Just too sparkly for me. The formula on that was really good though. Okay, this is a throwaway. This is just something I didn't like. This is Beauty by Pop Sugar's liquid metallic eye color. I got this recently in, um, uh, where did I get this? BoxyCharm. I got this in a BoxyCharm base box. It's crap. It's just, it's like water. So it's kind of weird to apply. And then it's just like, this is like soaked with it. And then you have to wait for it to dry and it takes a long time to dry. So if you put it on your eyelids and you blink, I mean, it might get up on, you know, where you don't want it. Just don't like it. All right. You can't even see what this is, but this is actually a Lorax eye primer works really well i don't think they make it anymore i bought this a long time ago in a multi-pack off of ebay because i liked it so much and i was having a hard time finding it so honestly i could probably get more uses out of this but it's so old that i'm just like i just need to get rid of it and move on i have another primer in my stash that works really well so i'm just saying goodbye to that if they still make it i would recommend it i don't know if they do though this is Ico London Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner. This one has like a really fine point to it and then it gets wider. This is just drying up. I love this. It stayed on all day. I like how easy it is to get like a fine line if you're doing like a little bit more of a wing. Um, and I have another one of these that I haven't opened yet, a full size one. So I would buy that again. I, um, 
not super picky with eyeliners, but I do like that they last all day because I'm not the type of person to go touch up my makeup at all. This last product is MAC In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. This is just a tiny little sample. Probably came from Birchbox because they're known for their tiny little samples. The brush is like almost as big as the tube. I don't like it. I I know there's probably people out there that love it and it's MAC and I just expected more of MAC than to, I mean, I didn't feel like it defined my lashes at all. And then I didn't feel like my lashes stayed up. I feel like they kind of just fell down as if there was nothing on them, like within a couple hours. So I would not recommend this, but uh, like I said, there's probably people out there that use it and love it and it's their favorite mascara. They won't go to any other one because that's how we are. Some people love stuff, some people hate stuff. So again, the products I would recommend, definitely this dry shampoo and this conditioner, both drugstore brands. Of all the stuff that I've tried, two drugstore brands that I would recommend. Um, the Ico Black Eyeliner that I just showed you and Oh yeah, the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior. Definitely these four products were definitely um, items that I would buy again and recommend. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about the giveaway that I'm doing. I'm gonna have it posted hopefully by the end of the weekend, which is, I think Sunday's date is November 1st, 2020. I'm just putting that out there for anyone who might watch this later. I'll probably have it listed for um, a week. And there'll be a whole bunch of different ways to enter. So the giveaway will not be on YouTube. The giveaway will be on my blog because that way I can give you a whole bunch of different ways to enter, um, like follow me here or leave a comment or things like that worth different valued points to give you more entries to possibly win. I don't like to do them on Instagram. It's just too much of a pain to try to pick a winner on Instagram. And I'm finding a lot of people um, kind of form little groups where they it's all the same people and they just enter and that's all they do um so i really want to make it so that people who follow me and who read my blog and th uh, you know things like that not just these random people who just want to win giveaways although i like to win giveaways too so i don't know um so this is just my first beauty product giveaway so i've divided my stuff up into at least two there might be three giveaways so this one, I'm including two eyeshadow palettes. These are both brand new eyeshadow palettes that I got from Boxy Charm. Um, and I just don't need them. I have like overloaded on eyeshadow palettes and the colors in this are maybe not for me, but they might be more for you. So I want to include them in giveaways. So this is, these are the colors of the first one. This one is the Queen Beauty Palette, I think by Eloise. So that's what that looks like. Then it comes in a little sleeve. So everything is still, you know, in its brand new packaging. They have been open for photos only. And if there's any nicks or anything in there, it might just be that's how they shipped. This one doesn't have anything on it. This is the Illuminati and Isa palette. So I'm gonna include both these eyeshadow palettes in the giveaway, as well as a pack of eyeshadow brushes from Morphe and this Winky Luxe eyebrow pencil and this is in the shade Universal so supposedly this works for everybody so I've got that um, we've got a highlighter from Floss a lip balm from Birchbox brand Arrow this is one of those um, color changing lip balms the ones that change with your pH a black eyeliner big fat eyeliner from, I think it's from Rockin, Rockin's Big Fit Eyeliner. This one is Shrink Wrap. Wish Botanical Primer, Face Primer before your makeup. And this Yensa Super 8 Lip Oil. And, and this is in a pink shine. That's what that looks like. So these are all going to be part of the same giveaway. So you win everything. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I will announce when the giveaway is live on there. I will put it, I will try to take a photo and put it in my main feed. I'm not really good about posting on there right now. Um, but I do, I will hop on Instagram stories and let you know when it's live as well. Um, yeah, that's, that's by far the best place to, um, to find out when the 
giveaways live. So I will leave the link for, I'll leave the link for my blog below um, and for my Instagram and Pinterest and Facebook and all that below. And then I'm also going to leave my blog link for Delicious Little Bites, which is my full-time blog. I'm going to leave that down below too because I'm holding giveaways on there too. Like I just did a big keto food giveaway. Um, I have a keto cookbook I'm going to be giving away soon. Um, and I don't know, maybe some more stuff. Uh, maybe uh, I kind of like to do like a bigger giveaway closer to Thanksgiving and Christmas. Last year I gave away an Instant Pot. Might do an air fryer this year. I haven't decided yet, but it, there is going to be at least one bigger item giveaway um, on that blog as well. So you can follow me there too. And then I have not been super good about doing unboxing videos because I've been really busy um, with the other blog and this being our busy time of the year with Thanksgiving and Christmas and everything coming up. But I will be doing some unboxings. I will still keep doing them for my BoxyCharm boxes at least and FabFitFun, which is also coming soon. So hopefully you'll follow me here or subscribe to my channel and I will see you back here again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.